Halo, Halo, Halo. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, boys. How are we doing today? How are we doing today, Halo? I'm doing good. A little ASMR. Yeah. They like that. ASMR for you. That's free. That one's that one's free. That's on me. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. <clears throat> so we are feeling much better today. I don't really have a uh I don't really have a <clears throat> scratchiness anymore and there isn't like a tickle like there was yesterday and uh, overall I feel uh, pretty good today for the most part still got some stuff going on in the nose but you know that's to be expected we're still recovering from the cold or the Rona or something sorry I am late uh, no, I, it's on me I really, I didn't do anything there. I was just kind of bumming. Was on and off checking out uh, AGDQ, and uh, I was chatting with my father for a while during his bill night. Then, uh, then I took a shower. Kind of felt like I wanted to take a shower and groom a little bit and groom a little bit and uh, you know. You know, you know, you know. How is the, uh, how's the audio? Am I okay? We'll have to, uh, ah, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm like, I'm, it looks like I'm good. The levels look okay anyway. Maybe a little hot. Maybe a little hot. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all been good today. I hope, I hope the uh, the Monday, the Mondays hasn't. Uh, is it the Mondays? Yeah, it is the Mondays, huh? Hope Monday hasn't treated y'all too bad. Because it certainly wasn't terrible to me. Kind of was, but not not that not that bad. Not that bad. Uh, we are jumping into... Dude, I'm so boring. I know I'm so boring. In the beginning, I'm so boring. I've got no energy. I'm just sitting here. I'm like, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh... Blah, 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 um, blah, 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 blah. It's got to be like the shittiest thing to jump into as a stream viewer. But I, I don't really know how to, uh, <clears throat> I don't really know how to spice things up. I don't know how to spice things up. It's just me. It's just me, man. Oh. So. Today. Today. If you were to lay siege to the port and push the Russian forces out, 
We're counting on you. The rest of the world is too. You hear that, Don't guys? Down. They're counting Command on us. Out. Command out. I'm going to listen to the game sounds and pay attention to the levels real quick. Because I may have to adjust it a teeny bit. Come on, you best. Right there, I think. Right there, I think, is going to be the sweet spot. We're going to give that a shot and see, uh, <clears throat> see how that works. What the hell's happening? Alpha two. I don't see... Where the fuck am I? What are we? Oh fuck! I think that's, like I said, I think that's going to be the sweet spot. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is where I had it originally. As you guys will remember, I had, like, some shit changed randomly on the, on the Go XLR, and I'm not sure why. So... Guy's so lost. Ah, uh, I peaked it. I re peaked it. Mm -mm. We are securing Alpha 2. I re peaked it and I wasn't prepared. <clears throat> Sorry. You are not prepared. Literally a guy right here. What is that dude doing? What? What was that guy doing? I like how none of my shots hit at all. The fence ate all of them. We, we got one. some one-way fence there. Alpha one is under attack. I totally thought I spawned in on A1, but... Yeah, I, I ain't going to help you, buddy. You're literally being, like, as useless as anybody can be. How did he get up there? I wonder, there's gotta be a beacon up there then. 
Because they can't get up there. Okay. One of those situations, man, where you spawn and die. Rip. Allies attacking Alpha 2. <clears throat> I shouldn't have been running with the grapple out. I guess we're not we're not relying on reses tonight okay I um I think that like dead bodies Strength is noticeably block down. block uh block bullets. I've noticed that before. Like if you're if you're firing into a crowd of guys, look like look at every all these guys just sitting here. We need you. Hold on. Why? Um. Yeah, it's just uh like nobody's pushing. Everybody's just playing. I don't know what they're playing, but they aren't playing for the point. That's for fucking certain. Away we go. Here we go. Kill that. There was a guy up there somewhere. Yeah, you're shooting at the... We're securing Alpha 2. I can't fucking see what's going on. This way. Did we just stop taking or? I got this. <laughs> okay. Hey, he still has 64 health after that. That's nice. <clears throat> That's nice. Let's hop in this. Oh, uh, this, this guy's got no idea what he's doing. Like, really? Our forces are attempting to seize Alpha 2. If, if you can't, uh, if you can't fly, like, please don't take the aircraft. Um, like, go into, like, a portal match or something. And... Up we go. Wow. That guy is useless. He's like looking right at that area. Uh, and number two, my grapple failed. That sucked. Grapple failed. What 
strength. Jesus fuck, man. They're gonna know where I'm at now. Gotta move. Stay here now, I gotta go. Oh, those are good. Those are good guys. in like a really bad spot. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. We gotta get into A2 though. Are you fucking kidding me? Two health. What are those guys shooting at? Like, what kind of aim you must have? Uh, yeah, we're not doing this. People aren't being aggressive enough, I feel. Yeah, we're just gonna let him go over there. I don't wanna fucking try bothering with that bullshit. Where do you think you're going? Is there anybody else up there? All right. Allied troops securing Alpha 2. No. 
Let Hello? This guy's running around. Like, how do you not know that? There's only one area that's above you, and it's, like, right behind you. We cleared out a couple of good spots, but... We aren't having a good start here. They are getting pushed like closer and closer into the spot though, so. Come on, dude. Gotcha. What the fuck is this? And they know and they know they're there. Like look look Thank God. Thank God this guy's here. Supply box ready. Oh, I don't need to do this. Got the pull down, the pull down. Grenade for him! Alpha one is under attack. Of course it is, why wouldn't it be? What the fuck was all that about? What the fuck is this? Time to go to work. <laughs> uh. 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 That stuff, that stuff is so fun. Eight kills away from uh, hitting, was that tier tier three? Yeah, not bad. We're only about a 500 resupplies away from tier one with the, uh, the ammo box. It would be cool if, like, once you got that, the ammo box there, the ammo crate uh, changed like color scheme. Or you could put a skin on it and be like, hey, look at me. I'm a badass. I resupplied lots of people. So cool. I'll try to force us back sector by sector. Guard your objectives, hold the line, and wear them down through the Nice. Ni nice. Like, seriously? Seriously? Yikes, dude. The only one resupply. Nice. 
snipers. I'm not going to out snipe a sniper, but it is hysterical that I was able to get a kill out of there. This is, uh... They're on the back side. What is he walking? What? Let's go here. Break it down. Grapple in place. I'm dead. I'm dead. Why? Because you can't shoot inside from there. I didn't have an angle for it. I didn't have an angle for it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get me, unfortunately. I, I appreciate the thought, but I'm... I'm stuck to the pavement, literally. See how this bullshit works out. Guarantee I can't do shit from here. The fuck is this? Okay. What? I like how I fall off before I even fucking get over there. I'm dead. Yeah, doesn't matter. Nice little, uh, nice little spurt of, uh, thinning out some numbers there, but. We're attacking one of our objectives. What are, like, what are these? These guys are doing nothing here. Like, they're wasting fucking. What a waste. Like, yeah, that might be a good call. Like, I guess kind of like wasting their shit sitting over there instead of being able to use it, but.
Fucking A. <clears throat> Fucking hate that, dude. I'm gonna keep going up there. Or maybe not. Second, reload this and then hit up. Probably die. Or not. Hey. Always fucking happens. These cocksuckers always happen to come over here. I fucking fat fingered my grenade button again. Key bindings, real quick here. There we go. We'll put it on that. God bless. <laughs> God bless. Spawns you right beneath uh, a, an active fucking... Uh, I still have so many reinforcements. Like, who am I getting shot by? Oh, fuck me.
<clears throat> I'm gonna get sniped here eventually. Yep. There was a sniper and the guy with the AK there. And apparently that guy came behind me. Oh my god, there's so many here. Inside? Yeah, it's gonna be inside here. At least we got that, right? Hey, GG. Excellent work, notepads. We'll remember Excellent work, notepads. Excellent work. That's good. We kept having to fight guys off going up on top, but That's all right. Because when we were able to spend some time up there. That shit is so accurate. Prone and bipod. On single shot. You just fucking laser people. Like yeah it's got a bit of a draw. Oh! I'm going to put the long barrel. I'm going to grab the long barrel. So that I can switch to it when I do. When I want to do like. Uh, <coughs> long range pop shots like that. That should increase the projectile velocity. I forgot that even like that was even on here. Reduces the rate of fire, but if I'm single shotting, that doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? And that should uh, that should help with the um, the drop rate of the uh, of the rounds too. Yeah, we're going to put that there. Oh, that's going to be sexy as fuck. Yeah, let's put this on the, uh... Because the armor piercing is a fucking waste. It's like, it does nothing. The high power, we already... The, or the close combat does basically nothing. So we could swap that out for high powered, I guess. I... Nah, we'll just leave it. And 3x is the most, right? The 3X is good anyway. What else do we got here? What have we unlocked? We got the shotgun. The frag. We're about to get the smoke. Wait, I thought... Wait. We should have just unlocked that, shouldn't we have? There's no way I didn't get eight kills there. Am 
Am I going nuts? Chat, didn't I only need like eight kills? For tier three before, and now I need nine. Well, that's a lot of, uh, I didn't even realize how much cool stuff I got here. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Fucking A. All right. Guard those objectives, whatever it takes. Oh, the this is gonna be so bad. Fall back, but we have to slow the enemy force. Around 50 meters from my position. Hostiles are engaging at Alpha 2. I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I dead? No. I got this. Down I go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's... There was no way I was going to be able to sit there like that. Unopposed. That was a bad spot, to be honest. I need to be... I, I need to get into like some sort of bushes, I think. Interesting, uh... Oh, fuck. Let's see if I can hit him. Nope. I'm gonna die before I even have a chance. <laughs> oh, fuck, my knee. My knee just like popped. But I have no idea why. That hurts like a lot, actually. If they're trying to come around. Did nobody see that on the minimap? What? 
The fuck was that? What the fuck? Fucking A. Clip that shit. That was, uh... Probably the most ridiculous thing I've experienced. Allies moving on Alpha 1. Grenade out. Enemy UAV spotted. Come on, you fucks. I mean, they're not hurting that bad. They have 430. Oh, we might grab A1 back, though. It's Fuck yeah, if we do. Like all their vehicles stopped over there. Alpha One has fallen to the enemy. Of course it has. How are we losing? Oh! Okay. We no longer occupy Alpha 2. There's a lot of times where, like, I question things. Like, like how... Like, how somebody would know that they were getting pulled up on from behind like that. Continue the defense further in. Go. You know what I'm saying? Like, what told him that I was there? Away we go. I'm gonna have to fucking deal with that anyway. And the thing of it is, it's like I don't even I don't even see from where. Killing me, smalls, killing me. Hey, I can see beneath the world again. <laughs> At my, I don't know. Um, oh, there's another sniper from another building anyway. What the fuck was that about? That's all right. We really shouldn't be doing that. It's fun to do, but it's not terribly helpful. They're attacking one of our objectives. Oh, 
Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> of this Take some ammo here. and I'm just gonna kind of like hang out here I'll be the last defense this is gonna be incredibly boring to sit here and do but I feel like I'm fucking useless anywhere else How's my location revealed? That's something they have to fix too. Proximity sensor shouldn't be uh Your ammo. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, what the fuck was that, dude? Somebody came in. What does it take to reload, man? Fuck. What? Get the f 
fuck out of here, dude. Look at what the uh, res me. Okay, we're reloading. Maybe we're not reloading, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Go up top. Like, people gotta get in there, bro. Get in. Nope, we lose it. How hard? How hard is it to just, like... Why wouldn't it be? Like... I wish I could... Un <clears throat> I wish I could understand what causes that. That's gotta be a server thing. Where, like, I'll press the button, and I'll be holding the button, but instead of, like, a continuous stream, stream of bullets, it's like... You know, like... It's not just the LMG that does it. It's it's happen it happens with like anything that I try to full auto. There's just sometimes where it it like skip. Seat ends here. If this sector falls, the site is doomed. Defend it. people up there. I got this. Down I go. I'm gonna use the elevator and head up there, try to keep it clear. One of our objectives is under attack. Hello? Come on, dude, like... One of our objectives is under attack. Like right there, like it just randomly skipped. Like, and for what reason? I am not sure. Like they're on the roofs above, behind, and nobody seems at all concerned about it.
I am going to go up to this roof and I am going to hopefully shoot down on them from above. If there aren't already people here. Is this good enough? Can I do this? It's still not. idiot what a fucking dumbass what an absolute fucking waste of a fucking flesh bag dude Recoil is a bitch trying to shoot down. One of our objectives is under attack. We just lost an objective. Of course we did. I'm not even concerned. I don't even fucking care at this point. Like these should have been held like the, the roofs here should have been held to begin with. I just wasn't, I wasn't tracking that well at all. Like the speed was down, but the aim was already off. We lose. We lose because nobody wants to get in on, on C1. An objective has been captured by enemy forces. Like look at my fucking teammate. He's like just sitting back here Not doing nothing. GG. Abandon the site. GG. It dropped a couple of frames there. Are we still dropping frames? Nope. It was just something that went down for a second there. <clears throat> totally worthless squad was totally fucking worthless totally fucking worthless hey we got the smoke uh, underbarrel though we're gonna pop that on actually 
as uh, one of the options. I feel like the uh, the smoke is helpful sometimes. A lot of times, actually. There's so much open area in this game, like on these maps. We'll have to get back to sniping at some point. I know it's not very exciting to watch me do it because I'm, I'm not particularly good at it, but at some point I'm going to have to do it. I should probably do it soon while I still don't really have a lot of viewers. Yeah, that would be so cool if that, uh, like what the fuck is the loading shit? to quit out of the game and reopen it because that that like random pause was so weird I fucking hate Windows 11 dude I don't know if I've told anybody I don't hate it it's not bad but it's just like some shit about it like when things <clears throat> when you come in and out of like uh, full screen mode for stuff like everything like like all your screens start fucking like zooming in and out and stuff like it's so stupid it's so dumb you guys might not be able to see it happen on this because it just cuts the feed on the Elgato but Elgato We're already up to 380 on this. It's the thing of it is, is it's 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 moving along, but it feels like it's chugging. Like it feels like it's taking so long, but it's really not. You know what it is? I think that um, I think that it's all about my mental state while I'm playing. I think that if I uh, if I'm having a bad time, everything seems like it just goes so slow. I try, man. I try. I try so hard to uh, to keep a positive head, but there's just like it's it's difficult sometimes. Am I in my own squad? Is that what's happening here, or am I in my own game entirely? Could you imagine? It'd be hysterical. Getting an assault on the port of Singapore, the center for global trade, one the Russians have been manipulating to their advantage. We end that today. You are to lay siege to the port and push the Russian forces out. We're counting on you. The rest of the world is too. Don't let us down. Command out. I think I I think I'm fucking manic depressive, man. Or or bipolar or something. Like I just randomly got hit with like a really like just like a like a deep sadness like just right in here. Like totally random. And I'm not really sure why. Got your objectives. Secure those. The sector is ours. Then it's on to the next. Yeah, just push it out of the fucking way. Who cares? Jesus Christ.
What the fuck? And secure. Dude, fuck yeah. Objective Alpha 2 under attack. Oh shit. Dude, we we came right the fuck in here, dude. I'm trying to figure out where the sniper was. It's up top somewhere, right? Oh, I see him. Ready? Thank you, friend. Thank you. Two of them there. Two friends there. Maybe they, uh, maybe they figured it was me because of the, um, shit. Why are they running away from the point? Where? I can't even tell what's what. Come on. Thank you. 
Oh, we took the spot. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a couple of snipers up there. Oh my god, look at them all! Wowie. Hey Tanya! What's going on, girl? You know what? Let's let's switch over to this for a second. I haven't sniped in a long time. We're going after Bravo too. Oh shit. Tell me that's not the guy I just killed. Is that the guy I just killed? How am I feeling? I'm feeling great. For the most part. I was just saying on stream a minute ago, like, I, I think I might have, like, I what mom has, because I just got hit by, like, a random, like, just, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, a random, like, I'm, I'm sad feeling. For, for no apparent reason. That's a ranger. I gotta get used to this. Like I said, I haven't sniped in a really long time, so. Reload, keep shooting. Allied troops have captured Bravo 2. I don't know how that was a uh, miss there, but. Ha <laughs> peekaboo. That's awesome. You feeling better? Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I was pretty excited. I woke up today and I was like, I don't feel so bad. Allied troops targeting Bravo 1. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. There we go. Guy's not rest again, is he? No, he's not. I think that was just this. Uh, this guy wants some. This guy wants some real bad. We're burning resources to stay in this. Every time I hit her in the fucking face, it doesn't count as a headshot. Fuck out of here, Falk. Go the fuck home, bitch. You're drunk. Again. Come on, pop out again. Okay.
am I getting shot by? Really? Oh, I see you up there. Bravo 1, under assault by Allied forces. Marking threat! 40 degrees! 170 meters! Say, dude, come on. Yeah. Try to shift to a different uh, location, see if I can get a better uh, bead on somebody. Hey, we got an assist on that. We got to move up. Nope. <clears throat> See if I get up over here, if I could, uh... I just don't have good eyes from over here. I gotta, uh, I think if I shift up a little bit. Something up that way. Cause it keeps getting shot at. It's gotta be a vehicle, I think. Can't really tell what that is, to be honest. Sniping shit can get kind of boring when you don't have any good sight. Yeah, before I was saying that, I, I think I got something the mom has. This is fucking like... Like it's just an intense sadness. Like I wanted to cry. Like tears were welling up in my eyes for no reason.
Missed. Oh, man. Missed again. Friendly's engaging an objective Charlie 2. What the fuck is hitting me? Oh, it's this guy up there. What pussy. Sending a ranger drone on my mark! Haven't been like that in a couple of weeks, but I've been having real bad anxiety. Yeah, that's... Thankfully, something I haven't had to deal with much recently. How do you like that, babe? How do you like that? Another guy up there, though. There he is. He's no more now. Neither of those fucks. Oh, I have smaller scope? Yeah, there we go. Those are 4X. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh hi. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh hi there. Flash Gordon over there hanging out doing nothing. Uh, uh, uh. Let's pop this shit back on. Make the push with the team. Thank God that guy had my back because we were not on full auto there. That we would have been dead for sure. the guy out of there. No, fuck off. Come on, guy. Take my ammo. Let's get this reload off. of a fucking vehicle. I'm like, oh man, we got a fucking thing here. I'm going to try to get up on top of there. Wow! That guy is so bad! I thought I heard somebody talking. I could do this all day. I saw blue over there and this guy pops up. Oh, sorry you're having anxiety shit. That sucks. But the thing of it is, 
it's not a big deal if you just say to yourself it comes and it goes I got this do this back here Objective secured. nobody looks nobody looks allies are securing objective Charlie one Where the fuck? This is like a random guy standing back there. <laughs> what? He had to have, uh, <clears throat> he had to have jumped out of, uh, one of the two, uh, choppers that flew over. Yeah, I know it's not my fault, but it still sucks. I know the feeling. Allied forces at 50% strength. One of our objectives is under attack. I don't know if we've got the juice to do this. Doesn't really seem like anybody's taking care of the, uh, the air issues. Whoa. That fucking escalated quickly, man. Holy shit. Here's some ammo. Troops are engaging at Charlie One. You see, half of their line is being held by the fucking, uh, by the fucking sentries. Can't really do that while I'm having an attack by driving. Had to roll down the window and deep breath of the cold air into the nose out through mouth. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's hard. It is hard. Actually, when you're driving, I find that it, well, at least for me, it's easier to, uh, we have nothing taking care of the air problem. That's what's killing us. We are securing objective Charlie one. Wow, that guy was fucking terrible. It took him a long time to even take me down. He was about to hit me with a fucking uh, rocket launcher. Um. It's actually easier for me. I don't know if you've ever uh, done some of the steps, but like one of the uh, things a therapist had uh, allies engaging at Charlie One had uh, suggested, and I had also read about was that um, if you like focus on three things you can see, like point them out, and like verbally say them to yourself. Don't just like in your head say it. And, um, and then, the fuck is this person? I'm going to get killed from somewhere. I can smell it happening. And then three things you can hear. And then three things you can smell. Charlie one. Like when you're driving, that'd be like super easy. I 
I wasn't quick enough to save that guy, but... Oh, shit. I like how it takes me 10 minutes to fucking launch that thing. Let's go. Oh my god, I didn't make it. I'm done. I'm so fucked. <laughs> if I could have fucking made it. It's uh it's a good it's a good method. It's helped me. Um It's not foolproof. You gotta sit there and you gotta do it for like a while. Like sometimes you gotta do it repeatedly. But it helps. Look at these like these guys running around over here like dildos. We we gotta use uh if we utilize some more smoke, I think we can make it. Just gonna smoke that out and that out. See, now we're in a sick spot. Well, I thought we were. Nobody's taking care of the air. That's the problem. That's why we're not getting shit done. If we get enough people underneath here, though. If we get enough people underneath there, the air is going to be useless. Take some ammo. We do. We got plenty of people here. We got to hurry with this. Awesome that they could just like, hey, Sundance, throw fucking like rain fire of grenades. Yeah, there's nothing we could do there. They somehow like they somehow had more people than us, even though we thinned them way the fuck out. They, like, they were just, like, spawning there somehow, I guess. But, yeah, try that. Do it a couple of times if it doesn't work the first time. That's, uh, that's helped me before. Trust me, I know how rough it is to say, like, oh, yeah, just do this. It'll help. It ain't that easy. But it does. It, it kind of helps your uh, mind break the fixation of whatever it is that you're uh, focusing on that's got you all in a tizzy. Oh, excuse me for about a minute. I am going to go use the bathroom and then I will uh, fire up some more games. I got about, probably about another hour in me or so. So I'll be right back.
Sorry, that took me an extra minute. <clears throat> My youngest son's being an ass. <clears throat> Why is there no music playing? Oh, it is. It's just between songs. My apologies. Oh, no. AGDQ. They must have... Uh... <clears throat> It must have reset the, the stream there. Ba, 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 bum. Oh. Yeah, I, so, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I, I left you guys a little bit longer than I wanted to. Why? <sighs> It sticks me into a match, and then uh, the match is over. We win, but this, this is what you get. Now, I have to sit through all of these stupid-ass fucking lines and little after-match bullshit for absolutely nothing. Couple of minutes wasted of my time, and I can't get back. Still no word from DICE as to uh, what, what you know, the plans are for the game. That's uh, a little concerning considering, you know, they should be back from vacation now. From, from holiday break. It's a little concerning that we haven't heard anything. I've been given the benefit of the doubt, you know, but, uh, like there should be communication now. There should be news about what the direction is that they're going to take in the game. Take the objectives and expect the hostiles to fall back. Push them from each sector until they have nowhere else to run. Our forces are assaulting out the door. Ooh, yeah. This fucking guys are just sitting back there. that's causing them to stay over here. Like, I kind of want to play back a little bit just to see if anybody pops up from a spawn beacon. Know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. I found it. That guy just found it. Good shit. Let's see, uh... See if I can figure out a decent place to uh, lay down some some fire. Can 
I even see over there? Oh yeah, I can. This is ridiculous though. This is about the best I can do, I think. It's just kind of like harass. Dropping some ammo. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to sit here and do that. I really don't. As much fun as it may be. Are you fucking joking me? Are you fucking joking me right now? Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking cocksuckers. Just smoke them out. That's what I am going to do. Oh, oh no. We're fucking dead? That, we got stopped by a stump. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice how I couldn't take out my fucking smokes. That uh that bolt got like obliterated immediately. Let's uh try to spawn on this. What is hitting me? I'm behind the fuck I'm behind cover! See, the thing of it is, with, yeah, there you go. Get some smokes out. With smokes covering the fucking battlefield. You know what? I'm even going to take fucking smoke grenades. Fuck it. Everybody in the combat. The fucking chopper, dude. The chopper is wasting this away. Uh, we're gonna, um... We're gonna spawn A. We're gonna go up the elevator. And, um... We're just gonna smoke that whole shit out. We're gonna smoke out the whole shit. I'm gonna spawn. I'm gonna put a spawn beacon, uh, probably like over this way somewhere. We have spent half our resources. So that way, there, you know, we get some sort of 
close ish shit. I'm getting shot at through. Look at this shit. Just toss, toss smoke. Like, get smoke tossed out there. Who gives a shit? Why are the smokes not working? Like, why are the smokes not working? Smoke it the fuck out. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. See what I mean? Smoke it the fuck out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, he's dead. That's all right, because now I can spawn in there. Right? Remember, uh... Remember what I said I like to do? I can wreak havoc as McKay? We're going to do that shit again. We're going to try to do that shit again. And... And because their main uh, location for seeing is over there, once we get some smokes down, be that much easier to make it over to where we need to. Thank you. 
I wish I could get the fuck up, please. That's all right, because now I've got that beacon right there I can pop in on. And I'll bring it up over here. This is the first time I've really, like, done beacon warfare, if, if you can call it that. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make our way over there. Ready? Well, we were gonna go. I thought this guy had uh, that area kind of covered. Uh, smokes next time. Smokes next time. That's where I went wrong. Where did my fucking thing go? All right. Well, this guy's here, so. I could pop up there with the K30 and absolutely decimate people. I go up there with the LMG guns ablazing and like half my shots just don't land. Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I have no words for that. I totally fucked that up. I shouldn't have gone that way. I should have gone around the front and gotten the uh, the shit up. The plus side is we got the beacon up there, so. Friendlies are securing objective Bravo One. What the fuck? This fucking game, dude. Ah, oh, my Jesus. Okay. I'm going to put the beacon... Actually, this, this beacon spot's good. Hostile down! We are attacking objective Bravo 1. Do not approach! The beacon spot's good.
Ready? Ready? Tangle down! Are you serious? Are you serious? He's using a fucking 4X on an SVK and he just one tapped me. Ah. Uh, did we get it yet? Objective secured by enemy forces. Are you fucking joking me, bro? They're attacking objective Bravo 1. Are you fucking joking me, bro? I could get up there again. I don't want your health right now. Up we go. Tangle down. Man, with thinning them out, I hope people are gotten. Like people still aren't in there, dude. How many guys do we have to kill out here? Go! Oh, where'd my beacon go? Everybody's in combat. Yikes! Let me get in, please. Let me get in somewhere so I can pop a beacon. Guys died. I didn't even get credit for him. I was gonna say we got guys fucking everywhere, dude. Let's head down here. I don't think we're going to get this. This is this is rough. I tried to get the fuck out of there and I couldn't in time. We have to get to that corner and we have to hold them from popping in. Like, we have to get where I just was. 
and we have to we have to slap like real hard. What, what the fuck was that? Yeah, way to go. Look like a fucking invalid because I'm standing there putzing around. That was so fucking angering, dude. Oh my fucking God. We get fucking sniped from this guy off in the fucking in in Neverland because my fucking grapple didn't want to grab. We're out of time and out of resources. We were doing what we needed to be doing. I just I, I'm not I'm not sure where my squad was going. But if we would have spawned on my beacon, if we would have moved to that left side gotten those steps down we could have prevented them from coming in by that little like square where there's like the nice circle little atrium looking shit like we would have been able to cut them off from coming in and then it would have just been a war of attrition on the inside which isn't going to work out for them because we have you know we have the place covered thing it is is if i would have um if i would have tried to go over there and do that with the lmg it was not gonna work the very first time we went up there i just laced into them and like half of my shots hit despite me being on targets constantly i can't i can't deal with that i can't afford that at least with the k30 i could buzz people down real quick you know and it sucks because, you know, like I have, I have all the SMGs done. So using it is, it's not, it's not like useless. I just, you know, like I'm not, I'm not earning anything, you know, like I'm not moving toward a goal. Whereas if like I'm in the, if I'm using the LMG, I'm, mo I'm at least like shifting toward a goal. I suppose I probably could have tried shotgun. That's something I didn't think about. I don't think the pump shotty would have worked there. No, there's too many guys. When you when you go like kamikaze up there like that, I think uh I think I think pumping would have taken too long. Mm, mm, pump pump. Pump pump. Mm, mm. Sorry, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. Doesn't matter anyway. There's only like two of you watching me. Sucks, man. We got um Maybe it's the time I'm streaming. Maybe I'm going to stream earlier. Who the fuck is awake at midnight on a Monday? Well, Tuesday, no. Know what I mean? I think if I, uh, I think if I started sooner, if I started earlier in the day, maybe some of the, uh, the UK folks from Squid's crew would pop in to say hello. Because as it is right now, I think over there, it's like 5 a.m. Is it 5 a.m.? Let me check my, uh. Check my trusty clock. 
Yeah, it's five in the morning over there. Dude, uh, what the fuck is happening with crypto lately, man? Like, I got I got so excited because um, I had some shit on uh, on one site and I was having some issues. Like, I had an account on one side, and I was having some issues, uh, like, logging in and shit. And I eventually got that all sorted. And, um... And I checked, like, my fucking, uh... My crypto, um... Balances, and it's, like, dog shit. It's, like, in a death spiral. I think crypto, unless uh, unless you got in early with like the the bigger name coins like Bitcoin or Ethereum or something, I think it's like a day traders kind of thing. I think you got to sit there and like hover and like constantly like do trading and shit. Or you mine. I could probably do crypto mining, actually. Well, let me swap that back. And, uh... I'm not liking this shit at all. People are just jumping over there like lemmings. I don't really know. I'm not really sure like what their goal is. Try to come over this way and see if I can plant my beacon, like kind of hidden, maybe. I don't think it's gonna work, but <clears throat> that's actually good. This is like sort of what I was thinking. Leave me! I don't need help. Let me plant it though. This is, this is a, a... Our forces have taken an objective. Oh, we got him. Fuck yeah. That'll be the last kill you get, buddy. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not entirely sure. You have new like, secure the sector. Allies are 
probably went up. He's probably up over here now. Uh, he's dead now. Enemy tank located. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't go over there. Let's work our way over here then. my beacon Wow, okay. Yeah, what happened to my beacon over there? Is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. It's in kind of a shit spot, though, now that I think about it. I'm gonna put it up over there so at least it can't be seen. Are you fucking kidding me? Our troops are engaging in Charlie we have 2. Wounded. I know where I want to put it. I know where I want to put it. Let's see if I can get it over here. Oh, we're so fucking dead right here. Stay away. Keep back. Okay. I love how like my smoke just doesn't it just doesn't last. It doesn't work. My shit is still over here though. 
hostiles are taking an objective. It's in it. Like, I, I almost... Uh... I popped this here and our, our guys are going over there. Like what? Objective captured and secure. Let's get going. Tangle down. I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. I'm gonna die to this fucking dog. The ranger fucking came up here, dude. How stupid is that? What a fucking load of bullshit, dude. I'll say it again because it's fucking trash, dude. The sentries and the rangers are fucking shit. They serve like they like they 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 don't do anything to to like add any compelling gameplay. Like they're just they're annoying. That's all they are. That guy's gonna kill the beacon if he notices it anyway. I'm not gonna spawn on it yet. Did I get the feeling he's camping it? Yeah, he was. Can, can, come on, come on. It says I can deploy, but yet I can't deploy. Pop that up over there. That's cool. It's, um... Yeah, that's, that's cool. We gotta, we, we gotta, um, we gotta figure out a better plan of attack because what I'm doing now is not, it's not, it's not, it's not jiving. It's not jiving. That's cool. That's cool. An objective is under attack. Dude, everywhere I go, it's like instant. Oh, I fucking missed that bad. Was like right here. Wow, we. What could I do? Oh my God! Like. Okay. Well, first of all, fuck that guy on the roof because that should have been a hit. 
And second of all, fuck those other two guys right in their faces. There's nothing we can do here. Like, it just, people aren't, uh, I don't, I don't want this. I literally like I don't <laughs> how did I even end up in the driver's seat of that it's so odd man Good shot, man. Unholy sniper god. Look at him go. He definitely put a, a hurting on me. That's for sure. Try to move a little bit closer up on this. What? Come on, man! I'm fucking dead, bro. Pussy. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, that seems to be a... The troops are engaging at Charlie 1. I have no idea like where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going, what's happening. I don't. This is like an ever shifting fucking thing. This is such a bad. Oh, uh, he just, just, just jumped over that. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh my God. Come on, what is this guy doing? You're right there, bro. Attacking one of our objectives. Oh my god. Where am I going now? This is actually kind of fun. Like, I feel like I'm playing like a rail shooter. But I'm failing miserably at it, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Allies 
Okay, one. I think I'm safe for right now. What am I getting shot at from? Why does this keep happening? That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. We we uh we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun with that. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking call it at that. Honestly, that's um, you know what? I'm 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 good. I'm good. I'm good. We got like a quick little two and a half hour stream here, two and three quarter, whatever. I just I uh. Tired of the game crashes. That's like what third one tonight. Yeah, maybe a sign to go night night. I'm probably not gonna go night night. I'll probably play a couple of games off stream, but uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not. I'm not, I'm not just gonna keep sitting here and like fighting this fucking uh, game crash wall over and over again. It's uh. It's just bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, who wants to do that? Who wants to... That's like... That is what? That's the third time that's happened, right? And then there was the other instance where, like, the game froze up for a couple of seconds. It's not my system. I can promise you that. I love you too, Tonya. I hope that uh, your anxiety chills out a bit. <clears throat> I, um, I'm i going to be on tomorrow at an earlier time. Uh, I, think a, I think a big reason why the... Um, why the, the viewer count is, uh, is, is low despite me getting like a lot of recent traffic is because of the times I'm streaming now. Like, I think I'm too late to uh, to have a lot of the uh, cool kids come in and hang out. So, I'm going to try to get on earlier tomorrow. And, um, you know, see where it goes. You'll be watching? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing that. Um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow the game won't be crashing all the time. I, I don't know. It's so weird. We, we, we went, you know, like the begin, like when it first launched, we were getting the, you know, the device driver hang sometimes. All right. That's aggravating, but you know, it was like a once in a while thing. Now we still get that, but now we're getting like these random crashes that just cut. Like it just cuts the game. It crashes. It doesn't give you. <clears throat> any indication as to what the fuck happened, why it crashed, or anything. It's just, that's it. It just dies. Like, the game just, like, closes itself out. Like, yeah, sorry, Chief. We don't want to work anymore. It is, though. It's, it, it's so fucking exhausting. It's so exhausting. I just like I, I I love I love the game but I wish it were better. I wish it were better. I wish it were more stable. I wish I weren't struggling to get 120 frames on a 3090 and 1440p. No fucking clue why that why that's a thing. You know, graphically the game is no more good like the game ha is is like no more graphically pleasing or like anything like that than like Battlefield 4 was or Battlefield 3 and those games are like ancient by today's standards and you can't sit there and tell me like oh it's the 128 players dude I used to play Planetside 
That game had like a billion fucking players at once. It wasn't a billion. I don't remember how many it was, but there was a lot of fucking players at once. Never had these kind of issues. And that was with lesser hardware. Yeah, Planet Side wasn't as graphically uh, pretty as like Battlefield 3 or 4, but it wasn't a shit looking game either. And like I said, given the technological advances since then, you should be able to do that shit no problem. It's just like, a, it's such a poorly optimized game. And like, I hate to sit here and go off on it because it's so negative and I, I, I don't want like, <clears throat> I don't want to make, I don't want, I don't want people to make bad uh, decisions in purchasing the game, but at the same time, I don't want to steer them away forever. But the, uh, I'm starting to get the tickle in my throat again. I think it's from yelling and like getting so mad. Um, the thing of it is, the thing that's so aggravating is that, um, now it's really aggravating. There's no communication from the developers. There's been no communication. They've supposed to have been, uh, I don't know when their holiday, uh, leave, le uh, ended, but like, it's the 11th now. I would have thought that they would have been back at work like last Monday. Right? Because last Monday was what? Yeah, last Monday was the third. I would have expected to, um, them to have been back at work like over a week ago. But we still haven't heard shit. They posted some stupid ass shit today like how to play Conquest. And it's like, dude, the only people that are paying attention to you right now, Battlefield, the only people that are paying attention already know how to play Conquest. You dumb fucks. <clears throat> and not only that, but the fucking tutorial is literally the same tutorial that plays at the very beginning of the fucking game when you launch it for the first time. It makes you go through the tutorial of... Um, of how it works and then it puts you in a fucking game that you have to go through you can quit out of it but it sticks you into a game to let you like do it what do you need to fucking put it on twitter for dude what how about on twitter you put like hey sorry guys we fucked up this is not the game we intended to release but we did and we're sorry and we're gonna fix it or we're sorry we're going to get to work on another game. We'll issue refunds for anybody that wants them. We're going to get to work on the next battlefield. And we promise that that will be better. Or say, hey, sorry. We fucked up. We released the game in a bad place. It's not totally finished. We understand the frustrations of the community. Here's what our plans are. Here's the time frame. They did that in the beginning. And I get the feeling that was just to like satiate the people that were flipping out. Kind of weather the initial storm so that they could creep out, you know, creep out a couple of more sales. Of the poor bastards that were getting Christmas money and thinking like, oh, hey, there's a new Battlefield and not really, you know, paying attention to the news. But it would be, it would be wonderful if we, if we could get like a, hey, this is the stuff that's wrong. The community has voiced this stuff. Acknowledge it so that we know that you know about it, right? This is the stuff that's going on. This is the stuff that's incomplete. This is the stuff that needs fixing. This is where we're going to start. Like these are, these are like the, the, the high priority items that we plan to get fixed, you know, within the next couple weeks, a month. This stuff is further down the road here. And here's out here. Like here's our vision for the game at the end of the road. Like. Here's, here's what the plan is. Here's what we want the game to be. 
But they're not doing that. Or they haven't done that. Their initial excuse was that they had, uh, you know, they were taking holiday break. <clears throat> which is fine. I don't fault them for that. They probably were crunching the shit out of this game um, near the end. <clears throat> and, you know, they were at least working on some shit at the end before the holiday break because they cranked out three updates that squashed like a good chunk of bugs. And, and adjusted some quality of life things. But it's like, okay, well, where the fuck are you guys now? One of their, uh, one of the, one of the devs, I don't know who the fuck he is, but I was reading it on Reddit. Apparently tweeted that the Battlefield community has brutal expectations. Like, brutal expectations, dude. Some of us paid a hundred fucking dollars for this game. And this shit isn't even worth a $5 early access fucking fee. I don't want to fucking hear it about brutal expectations, dude. Like, shove that shit right up your cockhole. No apologies, no fucking nothing. Complaining. That's always how, uh, that's always how some of these crazy ass devs work, too. It's like, we're, we're not the problem. It's the consumer, the community. They're toxic. The community is toxic. They have uh, entitlement issues. And it's like, dude, we have entitlement issues because we're literally paying you for fucking something. Like, we're paying, you know? Like, people are spending their hard-earned money on your fucking game. Like, there is an entitlement there. One plus one equals two. Exactly. I give you my money for your game. If it is shit, I have the right to tell you that it's shit. I'm entitled to get my money's worth. Hundred fucking dollars I wasted on this game, dude, because I I was thinking like, hey, the I bought into the bullshit is what happened, right? The beta was... Okay, I didn't have a ton of problems with the beta. There were some, like, glitches here and there in the game, but I wasn't, like, crashing out. Shit wasn't, like, you know, awful. So my expectation was, like, oh, yeah, you know, they say that the beta is, like, a totally different build from what's going live at launch. A lot of stuff will be fixed, don't worry. That was a fucking lie. Because it, had they been up front and said, hey... We haven't had time to work out some of these kinks. The, the game that you played in beta is basically what's going live. I think most people would have canceled their pre-orders. I would have canceled my pre-order. You live and learn. Yeah, you're supposed to live and learn, but um, I'm a dumbass. I stopped pre-ordering games a long time ago because this shit has been like, this has become like a common thing in the industry, in the gaming industry. Uh, it's been a common thing in the gaming industry for a little bit now. Ever since, um, digital distribution became, like, a mainstay means to get your game out. That's when it started happening. Day one patches to fix a game that was incomplete at launch. Like, or day one patches to fix an, a game that was incomplete when it was, like, printed on disc. Or, or uh, to fix issues that were, you know, sent out to, to be put live as the retail game. But you needed to patch it afterwards because there was shit that wasn't finished. Or bugs that you allowed into the game. Or you, or the other big thing is you, you fucking, you blow a ton of cash on marketing to hype the fuck out of the game get people super hyped for it, put out like a couple of trailers that like nice and crispy and beautiful, get you really excited about a game. And then when it launches or, or get you excited about the game so that you pre-order and then it launches and it's a fucking turd, dude. The battlefield that the battlefield that we were advertised is not what was released. 
Not even close. And it, it fucking kills me. It kills me to sit here and play this fucking game. It really does. Because I, I love it, but I fucking hate it. And I know I should have tried to be positive about it. But after after tonight, I didn't even get a three hour stream and I had three fucking random crashes. I had that hang up randomly in the middle of fucking gameplay. You know. Uh, who knows, Tanya? That's the thing. Who knows if it'll get better? Because the developers aren't talking. They aren't saying shit. They aren't letting anybody any know anything. Look at this. Wait. Let's see. I'll put up. I'll pull up the fucking Twitter. <clears throat> Battlefield Direct Communication. Right. This was the last thing that the, the, this is supposed to be the direct communication line, right? Right here. The last thing that they fucking posted was this. And this was on December 16th. And then December 18th, they, they said that they were able to implement fixes. And that was just where servers were being left like in limbo and that's clearly not the case because in fact tonight we had one of those servers where we entered in and we sat there waiting for it to fucking go and we had to quit out because it never launched right this is a game this is a this is a game this is like this is a triple a fucking developer that launched a fucking doo-doo game in November and this was the last communication we we've heard at all was it on the 18th of December <clears throat> so then you go to the official battlefield page which is on like this is just marketing this is their marketing people 100% and you get shit like this how to play Conquest in Battlefield 2042. I don't know. Maybe the same fucking way that you've played Conquest in literally all of the other Battlefield games for the past like 20, 30 years, dude. 20 years, not 30 years. That's kind of crazy. But for like the past 20 fucking years, dude. Like, are you kidding me? People know what the fuck Conquest is. It's pretty self-explanatory. And it's in the beginning of your fucking game anyway. This is literally what plays in the beginning of the fucking game. And it's over. You take the field. Sure, you can light up hostiles and whittle down enemy reinforcements. But matches are won or lost by capturing sectors. Eyes on the prize, people. Move out. It's enough. I only have time to explain this once. I only had time Inside to explain combat. this once. That's great, dude. That's great. You explain that once. In the beginning of the game, you fucking tweet this out. <clears throat> and then before that was their announcement of the, the, the weekly, um, the weekly shit this is January 7th fucking vanilla 2042 It's literally just conquest 24. It's just conquest 64 player. Like, I, they got rid of Rush. They got rid of Rush 2042 to, to encourage people to do this. It's like, you, you fucking serious, man? Or look at, we get, we get beautiful shit like this. Where is this in the game? This is nowhere. This is nowhere. A concept art? Looks nothing like it. January 3rd to teach you how to play Breakthrough. 
Well, Breakthrough is pretty fucking self-explanatory as well. I think anybody that jumps into a game of Breakthrough will gather what exactly is happening within the first five minutes of playing. You know, yeah, Happy New Year from the Battlefield team. Yeah, not so fucking happy when we're dealing with garbage shit like this. Battlefield tips and tricks. Here's a fucking tip. Don't play it. Stay the fuck away from it. Oh, look at this. Other cool shit like this. Like, look at this. This is obviously, you know, this is obviously a concept of breakaway. And hilariously enough, the team, like the term, or, you know, the name breakaway kind of gives you the impression that like, hey, maybe uh, the impression, the impression that like maybe some of the, the edges of the, um, of the snow and shit will fall off and stuff. Nothing, none of that happens. None of that happens. There's nothing dynamic in that, in that, uh, in that map at all. That's a dog shit map is what it is. Straight up ass cheeks. All of this. This is just so stupid. Oh, what are people on about about exposed Fauci? Yeah, it is because the people that are still commenting and tweeting and shit on Battlefield's pages are people like me that are still like playing and praying to God that fucking, you know, something will change. And if you go to the, if you go to the Battlefield 2042 subreddit, it's the same thing. Like people are just upset. They want to know what the fuck is going on with the game. They want to know what the fuck is going on in the, with the game, and they want to, uh... I'm going to change the uh, shit to just chatting right now, because I'm not actually in a game. Because I actually don't mind sitting here and bitching about this for a minute. We're at the tail end of the stream. Like, probably nobody's going to be watching this ever anyway. I'll read I'll read some Twitter. Twitter's a fucking cesspool garbage heap of of uh of just shit. I usually don't spend any time on uh Twitter. I go to Twitter for like uh updates on things or uh yesterday for instance I went there to to find out what some of the uh what some celebs were saying about uh what their reactions were to Bob Saget passing away. Sometimes I like to look to see what kind of crazy shit people are talking about, like the exposed Fauci. Like what? Like what is this about? It's like the thing of it is, there's so much misinformation everywhere everywhere twitter facebook instagram tiktok literally any social media it's just filled with fucking like misinformation that you have to sift through to find the truth on on all fucking sides of every fucking argument ever now Apparently Project Veritas dropped some shit today. Is that what that is?
I'm actually curious. I'm curious to listen to this fucking video. Is there audio to this at all? No. And it's so fucking grainy, I can't tell what the hell that is. How the fuck am I supposed to enjoy... Oh, I'm sitting here. I'm like one. This is why I don't have fucking audio because of my thing. Off. COVID. They're there because they got in a car accident. They get they're there because, right. um, you know, they they bump their head and they're being included as in the hospital with COVID. That number seems kind of misleading. Yeah, I agree, Jake. It, it surprises me that they have not been able to parse out that data more carefully. I think the data that uh, uh, Dr. Olensky is quoting is from New York State, and we've been following that data as well. And I can show you what we've seen, uh, sort of sort of tracks with what she said. But out of all the patients that are in the hospital, about 57%, these are COVID patients, admitted because of or complications from COVID, 43% admitted for other reasons That's and then diagnosed wild. with COVID. Anybody that didn't realize that already is kind of dumb. Like, if you really thought that 100% of the fucking COVID uh, hospitalizations were strictly because of COVID and not at least in part due to just the, you know, the, the blanket testing that they do when people go in there for other issues. Like, if you, if you didn't know that, if you didn't understand that that was happening before, you're kind of dumb. The CNN just talking about it now is kind of hysterical. Well, where's this Veritas thing? Because I'm curious. Has obtained never before seen military documents regarding the origins of COVID-19 gain-of-function research, vaccines, potential treatments which have been suppressed, and the government's effort to conceal all of this. Dr. Anthony Fauci has testified many times before Congress stating that the U.S. government was never involved in gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Well, that was a lie. They gained in lethality. It's a new right. virus. That's not gain-of-function? According to the definition that is currently <laughs> operable, we're not going to get anywhere right. close to trying to prevent another lab leak of this dangerous sort of experiment. You won't admit well, that it's dangerous, and for that lack of judgment, I think it's time that you resign. That assertion is based on the NIH's definition of gain of function. However, the documents we've obtained refute that. The documents in question stem from a report at the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA, which were hidden in a top secret share drive. But what is DARPA? They are an agency under the U.S. Department of Defense, which facilitates research and technology with potential military applications. Project Veritas has obtained a separate report to the Inspector General of the Department of Defense, written by the U.S. Marine Corps Major Joseph Murphy, a former DARPA fellow. Major Murphy makes DARPA claims in his report to the Inspector General <laughs> the that, fuck? if true, could be damning to the official narrative that has been played out to the world over the past two years. Major Murphy's report states that EcoHealth Alliance approached DARPA in March 2018, seeking funding to conduct gain-of-function research of bat-borne coronaviruses. DARPA rejected the proposal because the work was too dangerous and could violate the gain-of-function moratorium, despite EcoHealth's position that it would not. According to the documents, the NIAID, under the direction of Dr. Fauci, did not reject the proposal. They went ahead with the research at Wuhan and several sites across the U.S. So here's the question. If the Department of Defense, the same people who make our nuclear arsenal, felt this research was too dangerous to proceed with, why in the world did the NIH, NIAID, and EcoHealth Alliance... Re well, I mean, it is fucking dangerous. Look at what just happened. The whole fucking world is like getting infected with a fucking disease that like vaccines and shit barely do anything to help. I say barely. That's not that's not entirely true. Obviously, it, it helps a lot in preventing severe disease and death. But like, look at the kind of damage it's done to the world's economy, to the people. Like, Recklessly disregard the risks involved. I don't know enough about it to, to really, like, comment it on it.
You know what I mean? In terms of like, I, like I don't, <clears throat> not a hundred percent sure what gain of function is. So I can't really. It's playing with viruses and shit, like playing with the uh, playing around with with stuff like that. I think it's uh, I think it's a little sketchy. I also, and again, this is my own personal opinion. I think it did come out of the lab. Whether it was an accident or what have you, who knows, whatever. It's doesn't make a difference now. It's out. You know what I mean? But just like the way China handled everything initially in terms of like suppress, like trying to suppress that it was out and then fudging the shit out of their numbers. And like it, it was just... This is a whole bunch of bullshit. Twitter, Twitter, uh, suspended. Project Veritas. I don't know. I, I love, I love, you know what it is? Like, I love reading people's responses sometimes on Twitter. Like, some of the crazy shit all around. It's just, it's so nice. Like, I, it, it's so nuts. <clears throat> some some of these are bots. Probably, like, half of them are bots, actually. Like, state-planted fucking bots, you know, from uh, foreign countries looking to destabilize. Which is working, by the way. Look at how divided everybody is. If you think that there wasn't... Uh, if you think that there weren't foreign actors stoking the fire, you know, tossing gasoline on the fire with bot accounts spreading, like, in misinformation or... Um, or um, like starting fights with random random people and shit just to create argument and whatnot, then I don't know what to say. I don't know. Twitter's a crazy place. The world is a fucking crazy place. What is happening now? What else is happening? Got Nintendo Kart. What's Nintendo Kart? <clears throat> that was kind of cool. I don't know. I, st I stopped being able to enjoy Mario Kart after Mario Kart 64. Call me old-fashioned, but... And actually, uh... Diddy Kong Racing was a superior game. Hot Barstool Sports Top... Top 10 male singers of all time. Elvis Presley at number one. What? Michael Jackson, number two. Jesse McCartney, number three. Frank Sinatra, four. Otis Redding, five. Adam Lambert, six. Adam Lambert is a hell of a singer, but I fucking hate the tone of his voice. I don't know why. I just... Bob Dylan? Top 10 male singers of all time, and you've got fucking Bob Dylan, at, at, like, in that top 10. Bob Dylan couldn't sing for garbage. Bob Dylan couldn't sing his fucking way out of a wet paper bag. Yeah, like this guy here says right here, Bob Dylan doesn't sing. It's true. He doesn't sing. Sinatra better than Elvis? Yeah. Uh, every other name on this list except MJ is overrated? I don't know if I would agree with that, man. 
Adam Lambert is a really good singer. Jesse McCartney, uh, uh, no, not really. Otis Redding was good. Stevie Wonder's good. I don't fucking know who Ryan Cabrera is, actually. Rubik's Groove? I don't even know who the fuck it is. I don't even know who that is. No disrespect to him. The f yeah, the, like people talking about Freddie Mercury not being on that list, I 100% agree with. That dude could fucking sing, man. Yeah, this list is fucking ass. Asking that, like, in saying that Elton John should be on the list, though, like, Elton John's not a particularly talented singer either. No disrespect to him, his music's great, but it's like catchy pop songs. Marvin Gaye, yeah, I agree. Marvin Gaye should be on that list. Billy Joel, too, as much as I dislike. Well, eh, I don't know about Billy Joel. I don't, know, I don't really know about Jim Morris and I these. I am curious. I, I would be curious. That gain of function research is a process that alters some aspect of the way an organism functions. Like how transmissible they can make pathogens. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's probably, uh, <clears throat> probably not a good idea to fuck around with shit like that. Like, I, I don't, I don't care how locked down you think a lab is like shit happens, man. Like accidents happen. Accidents can happen. And then, and then what do you do? Like, what do you do? Look at, look at the situation we're in with COVID. You can't, you can't convince me it came from some random fucking dude at a, at a, at a, at a, at a wet market who happened to get a, a fucking, uh, who happened to eat a tainted bat you can't convince me it's where it came from it came from the fucking lab it came from it probably again this is my opinion it's that's not i'm not stating it as fact i just i given everything given given all information available my common sense tells me that it came from the lab whether or not there was anything nefarious uh surrounding it like whether it was intentional or an accident i'm not gonna speculate on that but i i fucking i truly believe it came from from the lab i just like i <clears throat> i understand doing research on on how um on how shit works that's fine. But like if you're if you're fucking with things and tweaking things to I don't know. It's just that's it just seems like a really stupid idea. This list is so fucking horrible though. This guy's list, what's this guy's list? This guy's list Enrico Caruso. I don't know who that is. I don't know why Elvis is still on this guy's list. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney's not. He's not exactly the man either. Bing Crosby. Uh, Pavarotti, yeah. Tony Bennett's another like Frank Sinatra type of thing. Like he, it's all right. I don't know. Who the fuck is Jesse McCartney? That's funny. The third greatest singer of all time. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. See, I don't get the hate for Adam Lambert. Like, in terms of, like, uh, talent. Like, he's talented. But the thing of it is, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put Adam Lambert on the list, you have to put Freddie Mercury on the list. He's literally like he he he's the one that tours around with Queen now. Like he's Ooh, 
Ray Charles. Yeah. I can see that. Dude, people are like tweaking out that fucking uh, Freddie Mercury's not on the list. Luther Vandross. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of names. that you. It's hard to do a top 10, man. I still don't... I don't understand what... I've... <clears throat> and I'm going to say this because, you know, it's, it's just me. I don't understand how Bob Dylan ever became a thing. Like, I'm not entirely sure why people say he was an excellent songwriter. And... Uh, I'm also not entirely sure why anybody would say he's a great singer either. I just, I, I don't, I don't know. Bob Dylan's never been my thing. Not that I don't like him. I just, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's overrated as fuck. People saying fuck Elvis? Not, I mean, I don't fuck Elvis. I just don't think Elvis should be on a top 10 of fucking male singers of all time. That's. The average age of the people tweeting responses to this must be about 90 years old. Um, Jesse McCartney is an actor? I don't know. Oh, what's Batgirl trending for? Was that fucking Robin, man? Robin don't get no fucking love anymore, man. So sad. I'm, I am not interested in Batgirl. And if the, uh, if the, if the rumors about DC kind of like rebooting shit and going with like an all female, uh, like justice league thing there with like, uh, I guess the, the rumor and I, I don't, I don't know, but the rumor is that the flash movie is supposed to basically like erase uh, all of the shit in the Snyderverse. It's going to like do away with Henry Cavill, Superman and, uh, Batfleck. And apparently shit's going to be turning into, uh, Michael Keaton's going to be playing old Batman, which is great. By the way, that's fine. Michael Keaton is Batman. You'll never hear me complain about that. Um, but apparently he's going to be a mentor to, to Batgirl who's going to be like taking like that that mantle place as like the the bat person and that supergirl is going to take the uh the mantle of like the soups and it's like dude um I'm not against doing that but you got to you got to at least give like batman and superman their time to shine you haven't done that Man of Steel was was an entertaining movie. I liked it. But Batman vs. Superman sucked ball sack. Both Justice Leagues, like, sucked ass. The Snyder Cut was only slightly better than the original. But Henry Cavill... Dude, when I see Henry Cavill... That fucking dude is Superman. I'm sorry. He plays the role really fucking well. Like, he's a good fucking actor. He fits the physique. Like, it, it's all there. The only thing that hasn't been there for him is writing. 
And that's because Warner Brothers is fucking trash. And they don't know what to do with their, uh... They don't know what to do with their properties. Batman, poor Batman hasn't been good since the second one of the uh, of the Nolan trilogy because the third one was ass and then Wonder Woman Wonder Woman started out great I like the first Wonder Woman movie but 1984 was fucking horrible it was absolutely fucking terrible. And, um, and the Aquaman movie was pretty good. It just the DC, like the DCEU, man, like they got a, the thing of it is, is like they tried to play catch up with the MCU by like just like cutting out everything that made the MCU what it is. You know? Like the MCU is great. It ha it follows a formula, right? When it introduces things. Iron Man. You got the origin movie. Great. Kind of teases a little bit of interconnectivity with some other stuff they're coming out with. You get what? It was uh, Cap was next, right? Cap, uh, the first Avenger, was the movie after that. Again, another origin story. But then the post credit scenes kind of interconnected to what would be an Avengers movie, right? You got Thor. The first movie sucked, but... Well, it didn't suck, but it just wasn't all that great. Also, origin story. Like, there's origin stories... And then I think Iron Man 2 came out before Avengers, right? So like you kind of, you, you start out, you get people uh, familiar with who these people are and where they came from. And then you expand upon it a little bit. And then you do a team up. But it... Like they, they, the way the way DC did it was they like, okay, you had the you had Man of Steel. You didn't have a a, a Batman movie. Like you didn't have a Batman origin for the new shit. Uh, you did have Wonder Woman, so that was fair. But then like you do Batman versus Superman, and it's like. Come on, man. Like, and then you go from that to Justice League. But then you don't do anything after that. Like, okay, so yeah, Justice League was crap. Right? But then, then you like, you jump back to 1984 with Wonder Woman. You don't release anything new for a Superman, no Batman movie. The Flash movie is just going to be coming out now. It's fucking years later. Like, come on, DC. The only good DC movie that's come out in recent memory is the fucking Joker. And I don't want to fucking argue about nothing. And that movie was incredible. I don't care what we always are fucking rip off a taxi or what I don't give a shit man it was a good fucking movie it made me sympathize with him it kind of put a spotlight on mental illness and the struggles of dealing with mental illnesses as well as the stigma surrounding it like it's just it was just a good fucking movie. It was a good movie. Dreamcast is trending. What? Why? The Dreamcast was way ahead of its time, dude. Way ahead of its time. 
Such a shame that Sega fucking uh, shit the bed. All of their consoles, except the 32X, were like legitimately good consoles for the most part. They just weren't given enough support. Why is why is it trending though? I gotta you know what I should do? I should invest in the uh in getting some soldering tools and shit. I have uh, I have a Dreamcast, and I have the HDMI mod, and <clears throat> I have the, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically the shit that, like, you can, um, you can run the games off of, uh, an SD card. I just haven't had it installed. And I, I, uh, I was so excited, right? I, I got, um, I have an HDMI modded N64. And I thought that that was going to be so fucking cool. But then I forgot how fucking terrible the controller was. And I forgot how absolutely fucking terrible the graphics were. And when I went to go play it, I was like, ugh. Ugh. I should have not done this. Like, for some reason, the N64, like, hit me harder in terms of, like, the, wow, this is not what I remember than anything, any other retro shit that I've gone back to play. Oh, it's for me, that's why. What's what's like actually trending in the US? Sports. I don't give a shit about sports. It's all sports. All sports. Why? I uh I don't really care about sports. Can I just do like worldwide? I'm a noob Twitter user, by the way. Hey, Zimbabwe. I guess you can't just do worldwide. Whatever. I don't know. I've been hanging out here too long. Kind of just bullshitting for the sake of bullshitting. I like hanging out. And I don't want to go to bed quite yet, but it's almost 1.30 now, so I think it's time. I probably won't upload this. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll upload it anyway. Fuck it. Um, thank you guys for coming to chill and hang out. And uh, some of you guys coming to say hello, just to, to stop in and say hello. I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the love. I'm going to be on tomorrow, uh, and I'm going to try to be earlier because I want to test to see what kind of audience I can get playing earlier versus, you know, fucking 12, 1 o'clock at night, because obviously that isn't, a, that isn't working. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we'll keep playing Battlefield. Ah, there's, there's nothing else. There's nothing else for me to play. Nothing else for me to play. Maybe I'll look into doing some single player shit. I don't know. Jury's still out on it, honestly. 
I don't know. The thing of it is, it's like, even if I go to play some of the console stuff, I can't play the newer console stuff because I have to disable HDR. I have to run the game at 60, FP, uh, 60 FPS, whatever the games are. I can't do uh, 120 FPS, which sucks because the, um, the capture card won't, won't get it. But retro stuff, I could do retro stuff. <clears throat> I'm waiting for my uh, my EverDrive. Waiting for my EverDrives to come in for the the analog pocket that I have. Cause um, Game Boy games are like I. The only Game Boy games I ever spent time playing were the Pokemon games, and actually it was only like red, yellow, and blue. That was it. I didn't play anything after that. But those were the only, uh, those were the only Game Boy games I ever really played. I don't even remember if I played the original, uh, Link's Awakening or not. I think I did. Or the OG Tetris and shit like that. With the big ass fucking Game Boy, the old school. I remember I had, what did I, I had a Game Boy Color. Yeah, I had a Game Boy Color. And I had the, like, goofy-ass light that used to hang off of it so I could fucking play it at night under my covers. <coughs> those were the days. And I don't know what ever happened to any of those things. There's so much shit in my life that, like, I don't know what happened to it. Like, it just kind of, like, disappeared. Like the Nintendo 64 that my family had. No idea where that went. No clue. No clue where that went. I had a... Um, my original Dreamcast. I have no idea where that went. I have no idea where that disappeared to. I don't know where the controllers went. I don't know where the console went. I don't know where the fucking games went. Like, it's just gone. Um, what else did I have that, like, vanished? The OG PlayStation I had. Because that didn't die. I, 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 don't, I just don't know whatever happened to that. That was gone. There was a lot of shit that I had, like, left in my closet at my mother's house that, like, just disappeared. I don't know where the hell it all went. There's a lot of shit that was at my mother's house that just disappeared. I don't know where the hell it went. Like clothes and... Uh, <laughs> I'm a jackass and there's like a lot of things that I used to keep for like sentimental reasons and stuff. Like all that stuff's gone. This is weird. There's a lot of shit. Just like vanished and I never knew where it went to. That N64 is actually like a real big mystery. I don't like, I don't remember. Cause me and my, me and my brothers used to play it all the fucking time. And then I had the PlayStation. Like I had my own PlayStation. I know we used to play games on that. I had the Dreamcast, and I, we switched over to playing that. And then I think it was after that that I got the PS2. And they didn't play much on that because that was mine, and I used to hog it all the time playing fucking SOCOM 2. And I remember that original PS2 died, actually. And I think the the uh, the guts of it are still in my father's basement. Um, but I do still have the the second one that I ha that I ever had. I still have that one, and it still works. It sucks. The only like OG consoles that were legitimately mine that I still have are my PS2, my uh, OG Xbox. Everything from the PS2 and the OG Xbox on are the only things that I have that, that like, were legit mine from, like, uh, initial purchase. 
from the launch. But the PS2 was. I didn't get a PS2 at launch. I was too poor for that. But I didn't get an Xbox at launch either because I was also too poor for that. But I got them a couple of years later. But I've had uh, I've had the whole launch consoles since the 360 and the PS3 and the Wii. I don't know, man. I used to be big on console gaming, and then I kind of like I kind of fell off of console gaming. Maybe I need to get back into it. I don't know. Games don't do it for me in the same way that they used to. And I don't know if it's because the gaming industry itself is just kind of like stale. Or if I'm just getting old. Thing of it is, it's like I still love games. But. I, I don't enjoy them in the same way that I used to. I used to be able to kick on a single player game and play. I can't do that anymore. Like the uh, the the concept of multiplayer gaming has kind of put me in a position where like that's all that's all I enjoy doing now is like playing with other people. But what really sucks is that like I don't really play with other people anymore. That's the that's the part that blows. Everybody's got lives now, and I'm uh. And I'm just this fucking, this loser ass bum sitting here trying to become something of a streamer and play games, and have fun. I don't know. Fuck it. I'm rambling though. Uh, again, I love you guys. Love all the support. Appreciate all the support. I'll be around tomorrow. Not sure what time. I'm gonna try to be earlier than like the typical like six ish, uh, but I don't know how much earlier. We'll see. Uh, hope you guys have a great night. I know it's late. Get some fucking sleep. Come back and see me tomorrow. Peace.